Today we are in Provo, Utah, visiting Sierra Cars. The company has completely changed its focus from gas cars to electric ones, so let's check them out. All right, today we are here in Provo, Utah with Michael at Sierra Cars. And the reason why I wanted to visit you guys is because you completely changed your business model going from high performance gas car to fully electric ones. So tell us more about the company, why you completely changed your focus to electric and why it's a better uh, solution. Yeah, absolutely. So this is the first Sierra car. So we've been around for about six years. This is gas. It outputs 45 foot pounds of torque. It's a single seater, so our whole focus is the driver. It's not about your wife screaming next to you to slow down. It's about you and your driving skills. <laughs> and so that's where it started as a way to uh, get performance for a cheaper price point. And then in that pursuit of performance, we ended up partnering with Hypercraft and switching to EV. Okay. So we now have our base model, which outputs 220 foot pounds of torque and our racing model, which is 450 foot pounds of torque. In so, that process we did, so this is about 950 pounds. We did increase that weight to 1,550 pounds on the electric version, Okay. but the, it's the same chassis. It accepted a lot of those changes really well. We did make suspension changes to uh, account for all of that, but it worked out really well. All right, so who is your cu uh, typical customer for the Sierra cars? Anyone that's trying to get into racing at the moment. So it's, I mean, as anyone that races knows, it's extremely expensive. And so with the price point of our base car of $39,000 and $75,000 for the race, it's, I mean, it's significantly cheaper than any gasoline car that you're gonna try and go race, plus the maintenance. There's virtually no maintenance on our electric cars. And do you have uh, off-road versions and then road versions? So it's all the same version. That's yeah. one, one of the beauties of this car. It's, it's we call it uh, a master of all terrains, that we swap the tires and we, we change the, the click on our suspension and we're ready for an asphalt track, we're ready for jumping, and we're ready for some off-roading. All right, so here I see a gas one and there's another gas one, but now I want to see the electric one. Absolutely. So let's check them out. Let's go. So, Something we need to mention is everything is built here in Provo, Utah. Yes. Yep. And your design team is also based here? Correct, yep, right. everything is here. So you said you started six years ago. How many Sierra cars have you built? So we've delivered about 30 gasoline cars, and now we've just ramp we're just ramping up production on the electric ones. We've now delivered three cars, and we're, we're ready to crank them out. All right. What's the typical um, plan uh, as far as production per year? Yeah, so our plan is to deliver 100 cars this year. Okay. We're expecting to do 100 to 200, really. We're ready to go. We can, we can ramp up our production fast, so. All right. But this is it. If we can, we can start at the other end and show you the process. All right, so here is the beast, the full electric Sierra. So tell us more about the, the platform, the suspension, and then the electric drivetrain. Yeah, so obviously looks very similar, but we're now all electric. So we had to make a few changes to fit the batteries. We had to change some, some stuff in the bulkhead to make space for those. Um, we did change our suspension, like I spoke about. So these are Fox shocks. We went out and tuned with them uh, in, in several different terrains. So we now have the quick change on those. All right, let's go to the main thing. We've got three battery packs. So it's 18 uh, kilowatt hours between the three packs for 450 volts. All right, and Cascadia motor and fully integrated transmission yep. and inverter, yeah. Yes, yep, so that's one system we get. We buy the whole system from Hypercraft, so they've designed, they've designed the batteries. We have a high voltage junction box. We have the onboard charging unit. Um, and I mean, the whole, the whole package. And the cooling management also comes yeah. from those guys? Yeah. Okay. Yep, so they design all of that for us. So Michael, with this new drivetrain, what's the weight balance compared to the original uh, gas engine? Yeah, battery? actually there wasn't a significant change. So the old car was about 60% of the weight was in the rear and now we're 65% in the rear. All right, impressive, yes. Must be quite fun jumping uh, on dirt and landing on the back end. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in fact, as we were doing our Fox tuning, we've now jumped this about 130 feet. So okay. we've, been, we've been really successful <laughs> in jumping. The plan is to, to try and build up some of that grassroots racing and get people excited again and have an affordable way to get into it. So Jerome, one of the things I'd love to emphasize that is super cool about the electric over the gas is the modes. We, have, we can now have different modes. So before you only get all the power, now we can put a beginning driver in here and put them in a slower mode so that they can learn and, and grow their skills. And then when they're ready, we can give them more power and more power. So with just one car, you can um, follow your whole progression until you want to enter competition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're really about that about driving progression, yeah. so that you can you can start with nothing and then with the same car, continue to have that challenge all along the way. So if I can take you through how we build them. <laughs> yes. So you know, over here you can see we have the chassis. So we start with a bare chassis and we bring it here to our beautiful crane 
uh, and we lower the batteries in, we lower the motor in, and then we come through this, this path here. You can see the cars ahead of us and we add the low voltage harness, the high voltage harness, um, all of the cooling. And then uh, up, up here, you can see we're putting suspension components on and then we'll loop back around and do all the interior, the steering, the, um, the seat, all the dash, and finally we'll do our final alignment, put the body panels on, do a quick test drive and we're ready to go. And then for what it's worth, we can build a car in about eight hours. Wow, well, okay. So we're, we're really, it's really a pretty good system we've got running here. All right, Michael, thank you very much for this introduction. We look forward to visiting you again and maybe take one for a spin. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Michael, thank you very much. Thank you. So there you have it, guys. For $40,000, you can get a brand new EV Beast ready to be beaten on the off-road track. And you can even upgrade it uh, to a competition spec one. So if you like what you saw today, let us know. Give us a like, uh, a subscribe, and also, uh, Tell us if you want to see more of those new companies uh, completely shifting and becoming a new company altogether. Guys, I'll see you in the next one. Beauty day for an adventure, yeah? Perfect day to do some driving. Follow me. Right behind you.